Unit 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.1, number 53. And for number 53, or these problems in this little chunk of problems 51 through 55, they're asking us to solve this system of equations. And instead of giving us concrete numbers, they're giving us these letters here, which tend to make it a little just more abstract. But it's the same idea as if you had had numbers. I mean, imagine if you had something like 4x plus y equaling 0 and negative 5x plus y equaling 1. If I wanted to solve that, I could use substitution or elimination um, to solve for it. I'm going to opt to use substitution in this case. So what I did first was I opted to take this first equation and solve for y. So if I wanted to solve for y, you can see I moved the ax over to this side, so I'm looking at y equaling negative ax. And if I'm using substitution, then I would take that expression for y and plug it into the, the other equation, the equation I didn't initially use. I would substitute that in for y. So if you think about bx plus y equaling 1, well now I have bx minus ax equaling 1, and the thing is I can factor an x out of there and I get b minus a here, and then I divide both sides by b minus a, because even though this looks funky, this expression here, b minus a, it is just a constant. So when I divide both sides by this binomial, I've got my binomial dividing out to my binomial, and that's where I'm arriving at x equaling one over b minus a. So I've solved for x. This is my x coordinate, which you can see down here in my solution. Now, the only thing I need to do is actually get my y coordinate. And you might be thinking, well, didn't we already solve for y up here? We did, but it still had this variable in it. And now that I know what x is equal to, I can sub that in. So that's why you see me saying substitute that expression that we just solved for into either equation to solve for y. And when I say either, it can be, let me get a different color, it could be this equation here, this equation here, this equation here. I'm going to opt for this one because y is explicitly solved for. So as I do that, you see I have y equaling negative ax, but instead of x, I'm going to substitute in 1 minus b over a. And then it's a matter of multiplying those numerators, and there is my y coordinate. So I've got x's here, y's here, and that's where you see me making my solution. And it just depends on how you want to write this out. I, I happen to solve each of these with the denominator of b minus a. If you wanted to have it with a denominator of a minus b, you can just factor the negative out from both of these. And so when I factor the negative out, you see it show up here. But if I factor a negative out of this denominator, they wind up canceling. So with all that, let me erase all my scratch marks down here. Here are my two solutions. All right, so you can write the ordered pair this way or this way. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.